Hi, namaste. It's Ali here at Sarovara Yoga, and I'm going to guide a short yoga practice today. Thank you for joining me. Um, we'll begin in a comfortable seated position, and if you are comfortable too, you can come up onto the knees in a kneeling If it helps, you can put a blanket or a pillow underneath of your seat. And then palms facing down on top of the thighs or cross-legged on the thighs. And then closing down through the eyes, begin to sense your breath. Begin to welcome yourself as presence and awareness. Allowing the senses to open up wide, perceiving sounds, and smoothing out the breath. The breath is lengthening, expanding down into the lower abdomen, the belly. On the exhale, softening the shoulders. And as you breathe, let the breath touch the heart and the space around the heart. And slowly tucking the chin down towards the chest reaching the arms out to the sides and on the inhalation roll the right ear towards the right shoulder and then exhale the chin down to the chest inhaling to roll the left ear to the left shoulder exhaling chin down to the chest and just moving side to side in this way following the rhythm of your breath. And the next time that the left ear draws towards the left shoulder, pausing here. Option if you like to bring your left hand up towards the sky and then placing it gently on top of the head, not pulling or putting any pressure, but just a gentle touch and then there's the option to take the right hand flex at the wrist drawing the fingertips up towards the sky and then pressing away with the heel of the hand the palm a deep breath here in through the nose out through the mouth let's do one more time like that you might draw your chin towards the underarm, take a deep breath in. Good, and then slowly releasing the left hand down to the earth, right hand down to the earth, chin to the chest, and over to the other side. Pausing here, the option is there to stay as you are, or you can lift the right hand, place it on top of the head, Option to lift the left hand and press the heel of the hand away from you. Fingertips lifting up towards the sky. Deep breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. Turning chin down towards the underarm perhaps. Another deep breath. Inhaling. Releasing hands down on the exhale. Good. And then starting to warm up the body a little bit. We'll 
Begin by taking the right hand out behind the right hip and then slowly lifting left arm up to the sky, reaching the hips up and exhaling to lower down and we'll come to the other side. So on the inhale, lifting the right arm up, pressing the hips gently forward, exhaling, lowering down and beginning to move from side to side. Following your breath. See if you can find the whole line of the hip flexor all the way up. And then even finding a stretch through the side body and through the arm. So it's the full body stretch from side to side. Exploring into any little areas that feel really good or juicy. We'll do one more on each side. Beautiful, lowering down, bringing the hands forward, tucking the toes under, and gently walking the hands back, and you might stay here. See if you can touch all 10 toes down to the ground. The option is there to come up onto the hips over the heels, and then breathing deeply here, in through the nose, out through the mouth, Feeling into the stretch in the feet, feet of fire. Shoulders relaxing. Three more breaths if you can. Imagining one thing that you like about this pose. And then slowly exhaling, walking the hands forward, pointing the toes and just tapping the tops of the feet a little bit. And then we'll move into cat and cow. So can you take your knees directly beneath the hips and then wrists directly beneath the shoulders. On the inhale, lifting the tailbone, drawing the heart forward Cow stretch, exhaling into cat. Moving with your breath. And can you close the eyes here? Welcoming all of the sensations of the body. All of the sounds around you. And the next time that you tilt the tailbone up to the sky in cow stretch, begin to walk the hands forward. Keep the hips directly above the knees. As you walk the hands forward, begin to melt the heart down towards the earth for Anahatasana, or puppy stretch. You can take your forehead down to the earth or you can gently take your gaze forward between the thumbs and lengthen through the spine. Inhale, feel your shoulder blades spread wide across your back energetically, and then exhale, heart grounding down towards the earth. Just subtle, just the subtle body, inhaling to spread across the shoulders. Exhaling, heart grounding. One more deep breath. Let's 
slowly rising up. I have a squirrel right above me <laughs> throwing branches at me. Rising up and then tucking the toes under, lifting the hips up to the sky. Downward facing dog, begin to pedal your feet. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Fingertips grounding down, bending one knee deeply and then the other knee. Deep breaths through the nose and you might shake the head from side to side. Yes and no. Circle the head round and round. And then a deep breath in, bend the knees. Find that puppy-like stretch quality. And then exhale, lengthen through the legs. Heels descend, they don't have to touch the earth. Relax the neck. And then inhale to bend the knees, lift the heels high. And exhale, heels descend, lengthen through your legs. And we'll do that one more time. Inhale. Bend the knees, lift the hips, lengthen the spine. Exhale, heels descend. And then slowly lowering the knees down, nice and wide apart. Coming into either a wide-legged child's pose, toes together, knees apart, sinking the hips down. Or some of you might explore a frog pose, bringing your forearms down, turning the toes out to the sides, and then begin to slowly let the knees slide away from each other. So you're coming down into a stretch for the inner groin area and inner thighs. If it feels like too much for the hips or the pelvic region in any way, please come back up and find your gentle inner thigh stretch in child's pose. We'll take five deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Relaxing the jaw, relaxing the eyebrows, shoulder softening, welcoming what is. And if you're in the frog variation, gently pointing the toes, bringing the the toes towards each other to come back in towards child's pose. Just draw one knee in a little bit and the other knee in a little bit, slowly melting down. In this child's pose position, begin to slowly walk your hands over towards the right side. Both hands walking all the way across and then you might melt the head down to the earth here. You might even walk your left fingertips a little farther away, finding a stretch through the left side body. And then a deep breath here into the left rib cage. Two more deep breaths. Slowly rising up, walking the hands slowly across to the opposite side, melting down. Deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, in through the nose. Breathing into the right side body, you might walk those right fingertips a little farther away. One more deep breath. Slowly walking the hands back through the center. Walking hands back in towards your body. And rising up with the hips, coming into a table position. We'll bring the knees back beneath the hips and then walking the hands a little farther out in front and begin to either circle the hips round and round, inhaling to circle the hips forward, 
exhaling to circle the hips back. Or you can isolate the movement into the pelvic bowl by drawing circles with the tailbone. So initiating the movement from the tailbone, drawing a big circle in one direction, tailbone lifting up towards the sky and then over to one side, curling down, tucking the tailbone under and then over to the other side and then let's reverse the direction. You can also circle the hips in the opposite direction if you're doing big hip circles. Good, and then taking the feet and crossing them behind you to sit the hips back and down. Coming into your comfortable seated position. And we'll do a little bit of shoulders, reaching the left shoulder forward and opening the heart up to the sky, reaching the arm back, and then coming all the way back and down and across. Inhaling to reach and open the heart, exhaling back down and around. Let's do two more. And then switching sides, left arm reaches over and up, through right arm. Exhaling down, inhaling to reach it open and up. Switching sides, switching directions. hands come down onto the knees and begin to circle the upper body round and round. You might tuck the chin and round through the spine on the exhale and you might dive the heart forward on the inhale or you can make a little bit more subtle a little bit more subtle circles staying a little bit taller circling round and round or you can exaggerate the movement into the shoulders and the upper back. So just notice what feels good for you. It's all about the intuition and the wisdom in your own tissues, your own body. You can reverse the direction. Noticing what does my body need? What does it need today in this moment? Each moment different from the last. Coming all the way up to a nice tall spine. And I uh, invite you to come into a um, Shavasana, laying in a comfortable position and staying there for as long as you need to. Deep breaths through the nose and relaxing into the earth. I hope that you enjoyed this video. You can subscribe or leave me a comment if you do. Um, and please click the link to subscribe to my mailing list if you'd like to get free weekly videos from me. Okay, namaste, have a beautiful day.